something I need to tell you all about. That it, this is something that you only. This is one of those things you only kind of pick up on when you do things like this, like long walks. Is that people look like look, look at you like you're fucking mental when you tell them that you've been walking for like eight hours or whatever. And when you say, "Oh, I'm walking from Sunderland to Newcastle," they're like, they literally look at you as if you're you've just told them you you like fucking baby foxes or something um, but uh, other other thing I notice is how unbelievably stupid and lazy most people are like people don't even know that even the local area like you ask them like uh, where is a certain place and it's not even literally somewhere that's close by and they're like oh, I don't know I don't know and, and you're like oh do you, do you not live here and like yeah but I don't know and like the other thing I have to comment about is uh, they always uh, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious so I'll ask someone where such and such and they can say oh you'll have to get a bus it's 15 minutes away like it's 15 minutes walk away and I'm like I've just been walking for the past 10 fucking hours why the fuck <laughs> Am I going to be put off because somewhere's an extra, like, 15 minutes? And, like, just the small thinking of people is just... It's kind of ridiculous, like... Makes you just disappointed in people, man. But, uh, anyway... Yeah, I mean, at least the people in Newcastle or in Sunderland are friendlier than people in London. And the atmosphere is nice, hold on. And when I was out last night... Literally went to a place, uh, some Irish place. Um, uh, what's it called? I forget what it's called. Katie O'Brien's or something. But um, swear to God, like just that one place, and, and that was just a random night, random place in Newcastle. More, more crack, more of a laugh, more kind of just people letting loose and having fun, and just people like men and women just letting their hair down and you know just the, you know, all the kind of stuff like you know flirting and having fun dancing the, literally I was I literally was thinking to myself where in London can you do this and I'm thinking London's like 10 million people covers absolutely massive area thousands of pubs thousands of nightclubs bars and literally and I've been to probably fucking most of them and literally none of them have like anywhere near that kind of atmosphere and I just think cause London's like basically London everyone's on edge when, I, when you think about it, you only realise you, you, you only truly realise it when you leave when, you, when you're out of London when you go somewhere else I'm not saying Newcastle and Sunderland are like paradise it's certainly not like the place I was staying at was an absolute dump there was literally winos outside with a big bottle of whiskey outside my window. Like, that was the first thing I saw when I was coming into the hotel. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. And the area was just disgusting. Like, oh. Just, there was like a big mass. The, the highlight of the area was a giant skip. That was like the tourist hotspot. You know, everyone, it, inst the most Instagrammable part of the, of the place. Um, but, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, like, literally, London just doesn't have no normal places where you can have a laugh and, you know, I mean, just to put it bluntly, somewhere you can go get drunk on a Friday night, dance to music, somebody performing live, just literally have good crack with, with random people that you don't know, you know, men and women, but obviously, like, you know, if you're trying to get get your end away, <laughs> uh, as I was trying to, <laughs> then um, you would uh, obviously, for me, t was chatting to some girls. I'm I'm actually really pissed off at myself because I um, there was a girl that really liked me. Okay, I do have to do a little. Well, it's a big asterisk. She was 
quite fat. I mean, I've done, I've shag fat her, but she's uh, she's she she was pretty fat. Like, I mean, I was drunk and I was still thinking. I was like looking at her, and I was just you know like looking at her body, and I was just thinking, well, do I really want to do this? Like, fuck's sake. Uh, I was, I was literally thinking, I don't know if I can even get hard like, for her. But anyway, I could have shagged her and I was pissed off because, you know, sometimes you just gotta... Sometimes you just gotta fucking... You gotta just shag a fat bird, man. You gotta just fuck it. You gotta just... You gotta just say, look, it's just... It's either a fat bird or a wank. You know. That was that's the stark choice, but it, so anyway, for some reason I was in a bit. Of, I, I don't know. I wasn't because I was on my own. I wasn't. I don't know. I wasn't really kind of in the mood for dancing. Like for me, the thing is dancing nowadays. Like either if it's not dancing at home, uh, if it's not dancing at home, or if I'm not absolutely completely fucked. And I mean, like, 20 Jaeger bombs and a big bag of fucking coke. Fuck. If I don't have that, I'm, like, too in inhibited. Inhib? What's what he said? Inhibited. And, you know, the whole point of alcohol is to uninhibit it. You, if that's a word, uninhibit it. Uh, so, I, uh... <laughs> The other thing I was going to comment on, everyone keeps staring at me, like, laughing at me. It's like, I'm just a guy walking about, talking to, into a fucking iPhone. Don't think it's that fucking funny, mate. Like, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I, I was in a bit of a mood, and then I just left the place, like, this is the place where the girl was, and she, because she, she was all over me, man. Like, Literally, I wasn't even... I was doing zero effort. Like, I was just... If anything, I was, like, standoffish. And she was absolutely all over me. She kept on there and there. And she was all, like, trying on my hat and, like... Trying to dance with me. Dad. But that was the thing I regret. And I was like, why the fuck did I not just dance with her, man? Like, I was in one of these... I don't know. She asked to dance and I was just like... Ah. Just, just not feeling it. Like, and then, and then after, I was like... You know, you know when I was after afterwards, I was like, what the fuck were you doing, Dermot? Man, just had a literally just dance with her for a bit, take her home, shag her, have a kebab. You know, there you go. Talk, you know, happy days. Nice story to tell the grandkids. But, um, yeah, no, I fucked it up. But, um, the thing is, as well, after that place, this is even worse. After that place, I went into a Wellerspoons because it's nice and cheap and full of scumbags like me. <laughs> and uh, the Jaeger bombs are cheap, so whenever I'm trying to kind of move up the notches, as it were, you know, move up the gears. That's after I might have one beer and then I start hitting the Jaeger bombs. That's just to kind of warm up, and then I normally progress to like double whiskeys and coke, and then. And then a uh, big bag of Escobar's finest. Um, <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm, go, I'm like, uh, you know, what do you call it? Like, you know, if you've been walking so much, you start, you, you start going kind of loopy. I was loopy to begin with, but I'm even more loopy now. Um, I'm, I'm fucking, I've gone, I've gone total loopy. I've gone full loopy. It's like in that film. You can't go full retard. What is the Tropic Thunder? You can't go full retard. <laughs> I went full retard last night. Yeah, so as I was saying, I went into Wellerspoons and literally went up to a bar and, and the fucking two girls, it was like, you couldn't, you couldn't have made this up. These two girls were like, literally I could see the girl nudging the other one, you know, kind of saying, oh, you know, hello. Because, you know, Obviously, I'm, a, I'm I'm six foot five tall. I'm very muscular. I'm just the kind of definition of masculinity. Like if you if you look up masculinity, 
hardcore masculinity look it up in the dictionary you see a picture of me but um you know I'm kind of like a mix of like Clint Eastwood Marlon Brando David Beckham and uh, Maradona but anyway yeah so oh and uh, throw in a, a little sprinkling of James Bond of course but anyway yeah so this this girl was nudging and, like, and then they were like hi where are you from I was like, oh, I'm from Ireland, there. Ah, all right. They were, they weren't the greatest conversationalists I've ever met. Like, they were fucking shy. But anyway, I mean, their chat up lines were pretty shy. Like, where are you from? You know, not the most original line. But um, anyway, but something I could see, you know, do you ever get it where there's a, gir- say there's two girls, right? They're friends. This is classic situation. Guys, you'll know what I mean, right? It's the uh, She's the opposite of a wingman. She's a fucking... She's a wing destroyer. She's a wingman destroyer. She's a she's a ball buster. She's a fucking... What was, what's the name for it? Oh, there's a name for it. Oh, wait there. Yeah, I know the name now. She's the fucking ultimate cock blocker. So her friend was into me, but then she... And her friend was like small girl. Black hair, black hair to hair. She looked all right. What a shag, you know. But anyway, um, but she, but then her friend was like, I could tell she was an absolute cunt. So I was like, I could see then her friend started chatting to her for ages. I mean, like five, ten minutes. And I'm like standing there because I'm waiting to get served at the bar. And I just knew she's given the cock blocking speech about. Yeah, don't fucking go, don't like go, don't touch this guy with a fucking barge pole, kind of thing. And the thing is, like, the way I look, like, I was wearing a baseball cap, I was wearing this kind of, somebody put some stupid party thing over my neck. Oh, yeah, it was that fat girl from the other club. So, so what? Like, it's a fucking Friday night at Wellis, but like, who gives a fuck? Who gives a flying fuck? Um, anyway, like I just knew that she was like giving her the whole. Oh no! Don't 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 bother with that guy. You know, kind of. You know, uh, you know he's look at him. Look at the state of him. Like he's he's probably on drugs or. Nah, don't 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 waste your time with him. Kind of thing. And then, and then literally, as I predicted, about ten minutes later, they both leave without saying anything. And I was like. I just officially got cock blocked. Again. Again. And then I thought to myself, right, this whole trying to get... I thought if I can't get a shag in Newcastle Town Centre on a Friday night, then I might as well just give up. I might as well hang up my my shagging boots. Hang up the condoms. <laughs> Retire pipe and slippers. So I thought, right... Let's get fuck I was like panicking I was like shit I ain't gonna get any ass tonight like, so I went back to the other place looking for that fat bird and of course she was fucking gone probably shagging some other guy because she was chatting to like every fucking guy like I'm sure some guy fucking some guy just fought fuck it you know I'll shag her for 10 minutes and then you know roll over snooze Common her old uh, Harry Snatch, Harry Harry Sponge, and then and then retire for the evening. But anyway, yeah, she was gone, and then I just thought, oh fuck this. And then I was ru- I was running out of money, and uh, and I was just getting I was just drink I was just hammering the Jaeger bombs, and then I got so low on money that I had to fucking I had to fucking get start even drinking Bud Light. Which is basically piss water. You know, you, you get more alcohol off fucking drinking your cat's piss. But, um, and you would get a better taste, certainly. Um, so, yeah, anyway, to cut a long fucking story short, uh, didn't get laid. Went to bed listening to one of my favorite songs at the moment, which is, um, Echo and the Bunny Men. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Nothing lasts forever. That one. 
Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, I fucked it up. Actually, that's not the way it goes. But I've listened to so many songs today, I forget what way it goes. Nothing ever lasts forever. Nothing ever lasts forever. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, yeah, I fell asleep to that. But, this and this was about 1 a.m. But, wake up at 4 a.m. And you know when you wake up and you're just like... You're, you're still completely blocked or half cut, whatever. And I was just thinking, ah, fuck it. Because I was in this shitty hotel and I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to go out. I'm just going to go for a walk. I even thought, like, because it's fucking 4 a.m., I'll literally, if I go out, there's, there'll still be people out from the night before. like. And I actually ended up seeing a guy that, that I had bought drinks. I bought him shots. I saw him. And he fucking completely uh, ghosted me, or whatever you call it, blanked me. He pretended he didn't see me. And I just thought, I literally bought you shots, you motherfucker. Prick. Jesus, there's some articles of it. Buy someone a shot, and then they blank you later that night. Fucking hell. Like, literally, he's a complete stranger, and I heard he's, on a st- he was, he's getting married, so I bought him a shot. And then he blanks me. Like, you know, what a dick. If you're out there watching this, fuck off. Fuck you. Um, so anyway, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to end this video soon because I'm blabbering right now. As usual. My legs are fucking painful. Uh, I think I'm going to have to... I don't know what I'm going to have to do, but I'm really struggling now. I'm really struggling. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this, but um. Anyway, this is Captain Destroyer, aka Dermot Conway, aka The Duke, aka Johnny Scalatrix, aka Sexiest Man Alive, aka Best Legs Since uh, Penny Lancaster, <laughs> and George Beth. Anyway, signing off. Godspeed. Fuck off.